Hey, what's up? In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to classify images through support vector machine. So let's begin. Uh, there are two folders out there. Uh, you can see cat and dog. Uh, these are the images of cat and uh, dog. You will see one of them, dog out there. And there are images out there of cat in this folder. So, so this is the folder, pet images. Okay, how I, I have kept these two class of images. Just copy this one, the directory out there. Now I am going to classify these uh, images out there into two. So support vector image. So import OS, import numpy as np import cv2 that is open cv import uh, main plot leaf dot pyplot as plot okay so right out there directory equal even home so this is my directory okay just so to download the image file I'll be giving the link in the description so you can download the file from there and it will take uh, a lot of time since it's of 1 GB so uh, download that before you start so right out there categories categories equal to get oh let's see the name of the word get dog so get and dog so run a loop out there for category in categories path equal right os the path dot join and make out their directory and write out their category so by this command uh, initially I am here okay so it will go out there in the dog for uh, one time and in the cat folder in another time okay so okay now again run another group for image in again right over there quiz dot list okay right out there path so in the path uh, that is in the dog folder and in the cat folder how many images are there all of them all of their names will be make a list out there so that's it right uh, again out uh, there image image or path equal to os dot path dot join path and image so I will be having the ultimate path of every image okay now what I have to do is cv2 dot inbreed write out their input image path and give out their scale zero should be fine now cv2 dot im show give a window name image and write out there oh, okay I have to assign this one to a variable right out there image
pen image so give out the pet image okay boom give a break out there and come here give a break out there come here okay just write cb2 dot wait key give out there zero and cb2 destroy all windows boom now run the code and you can see there is an image of cat and okay so everything is running fine now just cut this break cut this one and make a data array of link okay now i want to okay cut this one i am not it of this one and this one too right out there cv2 dot reshape uh, resize sorry so i'll be resizing my pet image img to a shape of let's say 50 50 okay so every image out there have a shape of different okay so if i see if i go out there and you can see this image is of one shape and this is uh, this image of another shape so i have to make all of the images out there of similar type of shapes and for that reason just write out there pet image ing assign this one now i want to make them a numpy array out there so image equal to numpy dot array give out there pet image and just flatten this so i want to so you can uh, you know that an image has a 2d array but i want to make the full image single array okay for that reason i have done this now image okay now write another thing out there level out there so give out there level level equal to uh, categories dot index of category so i'll be getting the index of cat and dog out there and i will be uh, getting zero a uh, zero and one so uh, i can define cat by zero and dog by one and so give another blank area out there okay that's fine fine out there so just write out there data dot append and make a array of image and uh, label out there okay so i will be appending the images and also their labels so just come out of here after that i'll be having the data and uh, let's see p the length of data boom 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 now uh, run the code okay there is an error let's check oh i have to i have to give try and catch out there so try and tab out there so accept exception exception is e. just pass boom 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 so uh, many of the images uh, will be hard to resize for the reason I have given this one just run the code
to take some time so here are the length of the data i have 24 thousands of image out there now i have the data i i am no need of this uh of this code out there if i make one thing out there so let's do so import i want to save the uh, data out there okay in a certain directory so for that reason i have to take the help of import pickle from then right out there pick in equal to open just keep the name of the file uh, where you can I want to keep so my I am giving a name of data one dot uh, extension of pickle and open the file as write mode okay now I want to dump my so pickle dot dump zero and the dump my data into uh, pickle in. so pick in object or uh, then then give pick in dot loads okay now just we this out and run the code again okay then you will be if you run the code again then you will be uh, having what should I say the data in this directory okay so just run run the code control B oh, sorry, control. so run the code and after a few time again uh, you will be having this pickle uh, data one dot pickle in your directory okay uh, out there you will be having a directory okay so uh, uh, previously I have done this one so data dot pickle is out there similarly you will have data one dot pickle okay so my data saving is completed let's check and you can see data one dot pickle is out there so let's uh, now I am in no need of this one this code out there I am no need of that okay just comment them out Boom. now I will be loading my file so right pick in just copy this one Boom, copy. Boom, copy. Okay. and give out there I want to read the file and instead of this command give out there pickle dot load load and give right out there pick in Okay, and assign this one named as data. Okay, boom, 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 boom. so now run the code, just run the code. Okay, so I have data out there. Now I want to divide the data into feature set and into the label. For that reason, just Write out there features, give it rank, and write out their label and give it blank out there. And another thing I have to do import random. Okay, so import random. Okay, then I have to shuffle the data so shuffle my data that is data okay boom now run a for loop for data sorry for feature 
end level about their levels level in in data write about their features dot happen so I'll be appending with feature and the, uh, levels dot append with level. so if I explain this one just write something out there so let's say I have feature uh, uh, feature of one two three four and level out there of zero okay so this is of one array and another array just like this one okay and make a complete array of our, uh, that one and this is equal to my data data structure and if I load uh, feature from there then uh, in feature I'll be having one to one two three six okay okay and the level I'll be having zero so in each time when I append then I'll be having this array in feature and this array appended and in the features and in each iteration I'll be having this level uh, this level this level appended in levels so this is how I am going to make the feature and level uh, uh, that is in uh, different areas so this is how so I have uh, labels out there features out there how I want to divide my taste set and print set into two different class so just do so and for that reason I am going to import import just bring a class uh, sklearn dot model selection okay I have to give from okay from I am going to import import out there paste sorry train test split so I am going to split my data, data set into two groups one group for training and another group for testing so just write out there x train x test y frame y test equal to train test split and feed out there the features out there and feed out there the levels okay now I am going to give a test size uh, so if uh, the test size uh, is uh, if you say the total data is of 100% and I want to keep 25% for test size and for uh, for training I want to keep 75% data so you have to keep 25 out here okay and there is another option shuffle uh, I have done shuffling out there so it's not uh, necessary okay you can give out there too so I have got my uh, range set test set out there and now I want to bring my model so bring my model from sklr dot sbm import sbc so sbc support vector classifier now what I have to do is train uh, make a object of my sbc so give out there c equal to one and gamma equal to auto and kernel equal to 
to be kernel out there kernel equal to poly so maybe comma boom 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 okay and fine now all i have to do is model dot fit i have to uh, frame my uh, keep my x data out there x train and y train so i am giving the features and also the labels for training the model okay and after that i'll be having fit then i'll be having so bring prediction out there predict then give out their x paste boom and get the prediction so prediction boom 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 and now z out there and i want to find the accuracy i don't know if the spelling is right so model dot score out there and give out their x test and uh, x y y test and y test out there so here is the uh, here is the accuracy out there now all i have to do i want to print this accuracy so print accuracy i don't the accuracy and i want to print the image okay for that reason print Let's print the prediction first. So prediction is space out there and give out there. Make a categories categories equal to get. Yes, I have get the first. Okay, just copy this. One. And keep it here. So, so this is one. Now, all I have to do, yeah, write out the prediction. So I will get as prediction either zero or one. So I'll be having the first prediction. And giving these two categories, categories, okay. So I have the prediction out there. Now I want to see also see the image for the region uh, plot dot show. Out there, equal to print. Okay, so plot dot show. Oh, in show, I have to show. Right out there, in show, and right out there, plot dot show. And all I have to do out there is reshape my x test. So x test is out there, and I want to take the first first image and as I am I have taken the first prediction out there zero I am taking the first test image and I want to reshape this one to 50 by 50 so I am making the 1D error into 2D again for seeing the image and just give 
over there my pet okay so this is all I think so it will take and if I run the code now it will take a huge 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 amount of time for that reason just uh, comment this out just comment up to here okay control C go and train the model out there okay so after training uh, you can save the model so again bring okay just right here there pick then open and I want to save my model as uh, what's model dot set and right out there right mode okay boom boom and I want to leave out there okay what should I say pickle okay. so pickle dot dump out there and dump the model so I am to save the model and give out there okay and give out there peak and after that just close the peak close the peak and now you can run the code just change out there so just run the code I am running the code for page size into a larger one let's give 98 percent is tested so that my frame set, uh, set is smaller so my fitting takes a lesser time okay so let's do so control d and if you do so after a few time a uh, few hours okay uh, you will have uh, okay now let's check and you can see out there model dot save is out there okay so I have previously run the code for 50% okay and my I have uh, named the file as model dot save now I will be loading that file for the purpose of uh, demonstration now just comment this line from portion oh. so I mean uh, commenting this one. Now I want to read the file. So read metal.save and so model equal to peak peak out dot load give out their peak and close. Now I am loading my metal.save uh, which I have done for 50% test site it will take few hours for you I am telling you this again uh, and let's see my model and I want to okay okay so I want to just comment this control shift go so make the test size smaller now just make it 98 okay so prediction is out there blah 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 so let's run the code again it's taking some time for prediction and score okay so let's wait for a while oh I made an error I shouldn't make that larger I want to make that smaller just give one person okay so that the prediction time out there takes lesser time okay since I am already already done with uh, my uh, feeding model feeding now I just want to predict just run the code now Boom. Boom. working let's check oh my God. In, uh, 
task main task okay okay now run the code i should uh, take lesser time now so here is my prediction and it has a accuracy of 82 that is 82 percent okay that's not bad and this is my prediction you can see get and this is also a get out there and if i run the code again let's run again and check for another one so since suffering is out there i do not have to change uh, the images out there just run the code again let's check let's wait a while and you can see so this is the image out there uh, I can see this is a cat but as predicted out there this is a dog so let's go for another image let's go for another image. run the code again run the code again and wait for a while so this is a dog I think oh this is cat or dog oh I get <laughs> cannot recognize this maybe a cat so, so it is predicted as cat so this is how SBM predict uh, for image classification uh, deep learning works better uh, I will be showing you how how to classify image for deep learning uh, through a deep learning session uh, and up to then stay well and thanks for watching